we're PV. We don't use Chinese prison <laughs> labor. We use American <laughs> yeah. prison labor. PV are one of the largest audio equipment manufacturers in the world, or at least according to their Wikipedia page. They're probably best known for their guitar amplifiers, but they make a range of amplifiers, PA equipment, speakers, and musical instruments, and have done so for years. PV are also no stranger to controversy, ranging from an FCC investigation surrounding PV's compliance to marketing standards and their obligations towards labelling and disclosures, which resulted in a, and I quote, voluntary payment of $225,000 from PV to the US Treasury. And then there was PV's most well-known PR blunder, the Undercover Boss episode. I did a full video on that, which you can catch somewhere there. But PV managed to turn what is normally a feel-good reality TV show into a masterclass in what not to do to win public favour. Quick recap, like all Undercover Boss episodes, we get to hear from the employees who work there. We hear about their money problems, their families, and what the job means to them. And in this case, the job at PV meant a lot. One of the things you said was, life is hard. Yeah. Just keeping up with the bills mostly and making sure the kids' tuition's paid for school. The employees were then laid off a few months after. And PV's reasoning for this was that while it affected people, it was for the good of the business. Making a decision like this is, is difficult. You know, it affects a lot of people, but uh, at the end of the day, it's something that is for the greater good of the business. And that leads us to the topic of this video. An allegation, and a serious one at that, made by ex-PV artist George Lynch of Dokken and Lynch Mob fame. He alleged that PV were using prison labour to build some of their amplifiers. Back in the early 2000s, George Lynch was an artist for PV, and quite nearly a signature artist. He had a signature amplifier in the works, the PV Triple X, and while that amplifier was made and was released in 2004, it wasn't a signature George Lynch amp because George had left PV prior to its release. It's also rumoured that George had say in another PV amp, the PV Penta, but again, that wasn't a signature amp because George was no longer with PV. And officially, the reason for George leaving was said to be contract related, combined with the amplifier designer who had designed George's signature amp left PV, George decided to leave too, and that was that. But maybe there was more to it. Five years ago, in a podcast that is linked in the description below, George said this. I do remember the, the, the PV trip. I don't remember meeting, but um, yeah, I remember Meridian, Mississippi, because it's kind of stuck out in my memory because it was sort of an odd kind of destination, you know. I thought, it is. <laughs> and it was sort of the, I'd never even heard of it before, and then found out a little bit about it, and really the town sort of exists for like two things because it's the headquarters of PV and there's a lot of prisons. He's right, Meridian, Mississippi is the home to Peavy, and it's also home to a number of correctional facilities. On my brief look at Meridian, Mississippi's correctional facilities, there are some disturbing things that came up. For example, in 2012, the United States Justice Department initiated a lawsuit against Meridian, Mississippi officials for what they referred to as the school to prison pipeline. It found that some school children as young as 10 years old were being arrested and incarcerated for wearing the wrong colour socks, being late to class, talking back to teachers, and going to the bathroom without permission. Meridian, Mississippi does have a history with incarceration and prisons. And I also found out a lot of the prisoners were for feeding. Uh, yeah, well, you get your labor where you can. That's uh, well, yeah. But for, <laughs> I don't think having slaves do your you know, working in a for-profit corporation is the right thing to do. But uh... now we called them slaves, and when I first heard that, I thought maybe George is being a little bit unfair with his descriptions. But upon further inspection. I'm not sure that he is. The 13th Amendment to the US Constitution is the abolishment of slavery, and it reads like this. Neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, except as a punishment for crime whereof the party shall have been duly convicted, shall exist within the United States or any place subject to their jurisdiction. In plain English, slavery, or forcing someone to work against their will, is legal to do in a US prison. The majority of US prisons are privately run, for-profit businesses, and they generate billions in revenue. And 11 of those billion come from prison labour. The wages these prisoners receive range from 13 cent to 52 cent an hour, and seven states, including Mississippi, don't pay for the majority of the work. The argument for this is that crime shouldn't pay. The argument against is that it teaches that crime pays better 
than hard work. But the fact remains is that what makes this legal is the exception to slavery, meaning that George's description is correct. Uh, they'll do it if they can get away with it, which they were, and I found out about that, or I had knowledge of that. And uh, um, there came a point in uh, our discussions where they wanted me to sign a non-disclosure statement. Uh, that I promised never to reveal the fact that they used prison labor to build their ramps. Wow. Well, I didn't sign it. I'm talking about it. It's a pretty serious allegation from George, and it's one that's very hard to prove. I've searched high and low to find any reference to this anywhere, and I couldn't find it. And that does speak to George's story about the NDA. If true, all the people that know about this can't say anything. I contacted PV and asked for comment on this story, whether it was true or not, and I didn't hear anything back. One thing that does stand out to me, though, is that these allegations have been around for the last five years, and if they were false, they'd land George Lynch in some pretty serious trouble. And to my knowledge, George has not found himself in any trouble. I just found this interesting, because I think if George Lynch alleged that North Korean prisoners were worked against their will to make amplifiers, it would probably be headline news. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you like to see industry stuff that I think is worth talking about. And like the video if you think it is worth talking about. Anyway, thanks, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.